So I wanted to do a quick video on using raster graphics in Adobe Illustrator and uh, this technique kind of goes back a couple of versions, well quite a few versions actually. So uh, just follow along and even if you don't have the Creative Cloud version 2015, um, this should work uh, with your, your system uh, or with your software. So if you want to add a graphic, a, a vector image, for example, a logo, a pattern, or you know, some sort of uh, texture or something from that you've downloaded from the internet or taken a picture of, and you want to use it in your uh, your artwork in Illustrator, there are a few ways you can go about that. First is to go up to the file menu and down to place and on a Mac that is also the shortcut key is shift command P on a PC it's going to be shift control P so we'll go place I'll get the image that I'm looking for which is this Idaho map right here and then it gets the um, you can see kind of a thumbnail of that image with this little you know it's attached to the cursor so then from there you can just scale out what size you want that artwork and then as you click on it you'll see it when it's selected you'll see the bounding box as normal like you would normally see and then you would also see the uh, these two blue lines going across it in kind of an X pattern And that just signifies that the artwork is there, but it's linked to an external file. And I'll show you uh, the important thing when dealing with uh, linked files. Um, the other way you can add an image to uh, Illustrator, or one other way, is to actually uh, open that file. So I'll do Command O, and I'll go again to that same map and then it opens the the graphic in Illustrator and this is of course for supported files and in this case this is a GIF image so it's supported and then copy it go back to our original document and paste and then of course we have you know the same thing we can res rescale it to what size we want it and as you see they they look up they appear to be identical one is the embedded image, and that's what this is called. It's Im embedding when you copy it from the file and, and embed it this way. The other one is linked, and you can tell the linked file because it has this X going through the image, and the embedded image does not have that X included. Um, you could also open it up in Photoshop, copy it, and do the same thing, and that would also embed the file. So, oh, and so to do that from Photoshop, I'll simply switch over to Photoshop, select that image, make sure I'm on the layer that I want, and in this case, that's the only layer. So copy, back over to Illustrator, and paste, and as you can see, it just pasted that same graphic in here. Um, however, the uh, the difference from opening the image and it, because it had transparency in the image itself, um, if you open the image in Illustrator and copy it from that image, the transparency will be maintained but if you drag it over from Photoshop, let me move this one to the front, you can see that it, it, it just copied the data without the alpha channel, the transparency. So keep in mind if you have something transparent that you wanna copy from an image, open the image in Illustrator, um, and then uh, you can paste it in your document. So the other thing to remember when you're dealing with uh, raster graphics is how to save the file. Um, and I'll show you what happens if you simply just go to save and I'll call this test and we'll save it. 
if I make sure to save everything but don't click this include linked files checkbox then if I send the link off to someone else oops let's close this if I send the link off to someone else and let's say um, first I move that graphic to somewhere else it's going to give me this error here that says could not find the linked Idaho map gif choose replace to select another file or ignore to leave the link unchanged so I don't know where the file is I didn't get it from my friend or, or whatever the situation might be so I can't replace it so I'll hit ignore and what happens is you you're left with this empty uh, X box of that image showing that there there is a linked image here but you don't have that image and the two embedded images that we copied over from the file itself and then also from Photoshop they're here within the file um, the other thing that does is it changes your file size so let me undo something here so what I did uh, while the camera was turned off is I replaced that image and put it right back in the directory where it was when I opened back I came back to Illustrator I got this uh, directory here, or this dialog here. Some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now? I'll click yes, and now my linked image is back in here. So in order to include this linked image as I save it, let's go save as, and I will call it the same thing, because then I can re add this, uh, on the dialog, the save dialog box, I can click the include linked files and click OK. Let's close that. I'll open again, but this time again I will move that file and then, oops, I forgot to open the file. All right, so we'll go open this test and instead of going to look for that file, it's linked within the uh, the file and you see that it's now changed to an embedded file because I clicked the include linked files okay so as you're working with files just keep in mind uh, if you have linked files as raster graphics or any other uh, linked file as long as you link uh, make sure make make sure when you uh, save the file that you have that include linked files box checked. Obviously it's not available here in this case because I don't have any linked files, everything is already uh, embedded, okay? So be sure to have that checked when you're saving with linked files and that will include those files so that when you send them off to uh, the production house, when you send them to someone to proof your file, when you're sending uh, whatever situation you might have sharing with a friend it will include that file for them to see so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on including embedded files and including your linked files um, enjoy that your day and uh, keep watching as we go through adobe illustrator cc thank you very much